Taiwan's 9 and 1 elections wrapped up on Saturday, November 26, with the main opposition, Kuomintang KMT, securing 13 counties and cities, while the ruling Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, fell short with only five. The poor results led to the resignation of President Tsai Ing-wen from her position as the DPP chairperson. However, what were the reasons behind the DPP's loss in this year's local elections? According to political analysts and experts, poor candidate choices, mudslinging campaigns against their competitors, and a lack of focus on proposed policies are likely the answers. Yu remarked that the KMT carefully selected strong candidates for each district and had worked together on all levels to push them forward in the elections. In addition, one of the DPP's former mayoral candidates for Taoyuan was rocked by a plagiarism scandal three months before the elections. Following the accusations against the candidate Lin Zhijian, then DPP chairperson President Tsai Ing-wen stood fast and continued to back him up, resulting in strike number two for the party. On the other hand, the DPP's use of tactics against their competition also led to a further decrease in support from voters. 民進黨的宣傳上面, Meanwhile, experts point out that the DPP continue to stress the importance of presenting a united front on cross-strait issues in the elections, though it had little to do with the pressing problems felt by citizens regarding local issues. After more than two years of living with the pandemic, the Taiwanese people are looking for ways to resume business as concerns about the economy rise. Still, analysts indicate that the ruling party had been more focused on providing subsidies rather than revitalizing the economy as a whole, leading to disappointment among its voters, culminating in its huge loss this time around. Jiang Zhiwei, Xu Guohen, He Jiayang, Vivian Shao, TVBS World Taiwan.